welcome to News 9. I am Rishika Khanna and today we are in conversation with author and screenwriter Durjoy Datta. A very warm welcome to you. Thank you. Thank you, Rishika. Thank you for having me here. So today we will discuss about your upcoming audiobook titled The Opposite of Love, which is about the life of two different people. One is a travel influencer who gets paid for travel and every luxury one can dream of. And the other one is uh, Amal, who just manages to have enough money for her first international trip. So Durjoy, what made you come up with this title and the concept? Um, the concept basically, it the germ of the idea sort of came from a real life conversation. So I was doing this relentless book tour a couple of years ago and um, it was one city every day and a friend of mine, she called me and she was like, you are so lucky that you're getting to go to these many places. And I was like, no, I'm not lucky. This is ev at this point, every hotel room is the same. Every place is the same. Every aircraft is the same. This is not fun for me anymore. And she was like, you are very ungrateful. I have not left my city in the last five years. Oh. So that is where the germ came from. Okay, so, so one guy who travels so much that travel has lost all meaning. It is just flitting from one hotel to another. Of course, yeah. it's it's become like a job. You know, he's he's getting paid for it, and contrasting it with a person who has never been on a solo trip, solo trip, and definitely has non not gone abroad. That is where the germ started from, and of course, then I created the characters the way that I thought would give me the most amount of meat to write with. So, so yeah, that is where it started from. Oh, nice. This is inspired from your uh, like personal incident. Great. I yeah, ju the, Just the conversation. Oh, no. those, yeah. those who travels a lot versus someone who doesn't travel. Yeah. So now um, audiobooks are slowly evolving. Do you think people will prefer them over reading books? I mean, I can, I can say about myself that I am hugely into audiobooks so you know uh, when you when you download this ad, app audible and when you start listening they give you badges and I think there are no more badges that they can give me I'm, wow. I'm already a scholar you know because it all started from I mean it started I started reading audible because listening to audible when I used to go on my morning walks and I used to be like okay I, list, I have to listen to something so okay. earlier I used to listen to music and then it just got repetitive and I was like, no, this is, and then I downloaded my first audio book and then slowly from me going uh, on walks and listening to audio books, it changed to me going on walks so that I could, lis I could listen to an audio book. Okay. So every day started with listening to a book. Of course, I started with a lot of nonfiction okay. and I, I, think, I think my first book was Atomic Habits and I heard it like way before it became atomic habits and everyone you know sort of heard it read it um so that is where it started from and now i'm i'm i finish like a couple of books every week and uh, and i think that a lot of people are going to start listening to audiobooks because we are constantly on the move right yeah so you don't have to sit or you know, you need you don't need to find time out of your schedule to finish mm -hmm. an audiobook. And so you don't want, I mean, we are already spending so much time, you know, looking at stuff just out of phones or any, you know, TVs and stuff like that. So right. you know, it's 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 it gives a rest to your eyes and you're listening and you finish it quicker as well. I mean, I I go through audiobooks way quicker than I go through books. So yeah, the sheer convenience of it is incredible. Yeah, and it's a it's an interesting uh, concept also. Uh, so when a reader reads a book, uh, they are free to imagine and you know depict the story in their own way. But while in audiobooks, uh, don't you think the thought process is bound to how the narrator reads the book? Um, first, so I've written three audiobooks for Audible. Um, you know, the last two were dystopian fiction. This one is uh, more of a love story, you know, mm -hmm. coming of age story. And, and I used to think that as well, but I have come to realize that it enhances the story. Okay. Because when I, because when I read, when I heard um, The Opposite of Love, I was like, okay, if, if I, if the book, 
in the written form was 8 on 10 when i'm listening to it it's 12 on 10 because there is it's not just someone narrating the book as is mm -hmm. there is a lot of audio design as well so when you're listening to it and especially it's in your ear yeah it becomes a very immersive experience so like large parts of this audiobook happens on an airport and an aircraft so when I was listening to it, I was instantly transported to it. And usually when I write something, I can't read it again. Yeah. Because I'm constantly thinking, okay, this could be done better. This could be done better. So my experience of reading my own things is extremely bad. But when I was listening to what had been recorded, I was like, yeah, this is an interesting story. Because suddenly all those sounds and the other, the, the entire ambience sort of added that much more to it so oh. so yeah i used to think that okay you're you're bounding yourself but actually you're making the experience more intimate yeah okay so um what uh how does your this audiobook uh, audiobook you know make it different from your rest so there is a strong sense of um suspense um in, in the audiobook and usually as a writer i've gravitated towards writing character driven stories so the plot is 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 thin but there is a character journey that happens this one it's extremely plot heavy as well uh okay. which makes very quicker to go through you want to know what's going to happen next and what is the secret what is that secret and it ends with a it ends surprisingly so um yeah and and the two characters also have very weird uh, world views so okay. <laughs> I liked I liked writing this book wow this sounds really interesting so can you tell our viewers about uh, when and where will the audiobook be released so uh, it's going to be out on audible on the 24th of November and I hope everyone downloads the app reads <laughs> it listens to it and tells me that they really liked it <laughs> so that I can keep doing this. Yeah, now when you've talked about it, definitely this has interested me as well. So, um, you know, this will be really good to hear and read. So, um, you were such an amazing guest. Thank you so much. And I'm really looking forward uh, to, yeah, so all the best. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.